Good morning YouTube, it is Amy the Kino Maniac and I am once again on my way to work. It's Tuesday and I've had a weird morning, I don't know, it's it's funny when you when you have a routine and, and something kind of messes with your routine, you, it just, I don't know, it feels like you're, you're all out of whack, pretty much. So this morning I, I couldn't find my shoes. Um, I couldn't find my coffee cup, my travel cup, and I usually make enough of my, my bulletproof coffee to really fill up the cup. I make more than most people do. And um, and so I had to like find another container to put my coffee in. That kind of threw me off a little bit. And I wanted to watch a YouTube video because my husband usually takes over the TV. Like when he wakes up in the morning, he's watching news programs all morning on YouTube. And um, this morning I wanted to watch a few keto videos, you know, a little keto connect, maybe some headbanger kitchen, you know, and just get my mind where, where I like it, you know. And so, I don't know, I just was, I was discombobulated all morning. And, and now I'm finally in the car and I'm heading to work. And I should be on time, I think, maybe, possibly, I don't know. Tomorrow we are, Robert and I are taking the day off together. We've got to go uh, do some legal stuff and then um, mom's birthday is Thursday? Thursday. She is turning 70. And if you've seen before and after pictures, you know how good she looks for 70. So we are going to go to a restaurant in the city that's called Cafe de... No. Brazil. Texas State Brazil, that's what it's called. And it it reminds me of the place that my husband and I went to when we were on our cruise. And it's, we call it the Parade of Meats. And it's a place that, um, it's Brazilian. So, you know, they have all of the meat on skewers. And, um, and then you have like salads and sides and such. And um, so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow evening. So, I feel like it's still going to be pretty keto, but last time when I went um, when I was on the cruise, I actually had an abscess tooth when we went, and you know it was one of those things that you had to reserve days ahead just to be able to get in. <clears throat> and so by the time it came up, my tooth was really hurting, and it really wasn't very fun, and I didn't eat very much, and you know it's not a cheap adventure, so it was kind of frustrating that I didn't get the full joy and impact of the experience because of the fact that, you know, chewing was painful. So this time, feeling good, I'm gonna take mom. She didn't get to go last time, it was just me and Robert last time. So um, for her birthday, that's what we're gonna do. And then next weekend, um, there is a hot air balloon festival in a city not too far away from us. So we are gonna go Saturday morning and um, after I have to go to work for a little bit, but we're gonna go Saturday and get, hopefully, the weather's gonna be nice enough that we'll be able to tether, which is just, you know, still attached to the ground, but actually need to go up in a hot air balloon. That's the plan. So I'm very excited. It's not something we've ever done before. So, um, since we've done the cruise and stuff, my, my ultimate goal, year round is I have a, a you know everyone has a bucket list in their head of things that they want to do before they die before they blah 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 you know and for me I, I positively have a list and so um, the cruise was one of them going up in a hot air balloon is another parasailing was one and we did that on the cruise going to Australia is one and Robert and I are actually doing that in a couple of months we're going to a wedding there um, so yeah, I'm, as you get older, you know, you start to, to realize that life is fleeting and that if you don't enjoy it now, there may actually come a time when you can't, you know, you may not have the health, you may not have the mobility, you may not have the funds if you're retired, you know? So lately we've been really trying to experience more of life as we go instead of, you know, shooting for some arbitrary number out there that may not ever happen and you know 
because ultimately what is the point of money except to spend? So that is our plan is we are going to do that uh, tomorrow evening. And then in two weeks, hopefully, it's really hard in Oklahoma. We have a lot, I mean, it's, it's not technically the Windy City, but it sure the heck should be. Last year when we tried to go, it was too windy and they never even lit them up. So um, hopefully this year, it'll be a little bit calmer with the wind and we'll be able to actually get out there and um, see them and go. I'm very excited, I wanna go really bad. So that's my plans. What do you guys got going on this weekend? Anything, anything interesting happening? Um, last night, Robert made taco meat. So we, we had a really simplistic grocery run and I thought about it after I'd already put everything up that it would have been good to show you. All we got was uh, the grocery store that we go to gets those really big like rectangular sized uh, plastic boxes, I guess, of uh, salad, like a mixed green. So we got one of those. We got one of the smaller containers that has just like baby spinach and baby arugula. And then, um, oh my gosh, people are driving kind of crazy today. Um, we got cheese, shredded cheese. We are, we are, we like the simplicity of the shredded cheese instead of having to shred it ourselves. So we got that. We got two different kinds of um, salsa. Robert likes it really hot, so I got him a spicy and, and me just like a mild. And then we got two different taco meats, taco seasonings. And we don't get the powdered kind that we used to. Um, Aldi has a, like a cream, I guess. And all of the ingredients are readable and they're not chemically, you know, induced or whatever. So that's what we've been using lately. And I'll show it to you if I remember um, the next time we make it. Um, what else did we get? Oh, we got pickles. Because uh, we were going to do BLT. So we got two different kinds, two different packages of bacon. And um, some lettuce for that. Some pickles because he, <laughs> I got, you know, I got relish. And I was going to put it in the car. And he's like, look at the ingredients on that. My husband said that. Look at the ingredients on that, Amy. And so I look and it's like, literally one of the top three was sugar. And no, it was... It was even worse than that because it was high fructose corn syrup was the top ingredient kind of a thing. And so I was like, okay. So we got a larger container of pickles and we're just going to blend them into uh, relish when we need it. So, because I mean, there's a few things that, that we do relish with. Like if we make chicken salad or egg salad, it's really good with relish. But, you know, all of the relish ingredients are inappropriate for the diet that I'm on so I have to have to modify a little bit sometimes you know you all know what I mean so I am almost to work Ooh, this was a really long video I guess I wanted to talk for a bit um so what else did I get uh I didn't buy my coffee I didn't buy cream I didn't buy butter um I thought I would probably make it through the week. Um, that might be pretty much it. Oh, I got some frozen strawberry. No, some frozen mixed berries and some frozen blueberries because I thought we might make either fat bombs because I did buy cream cheese. So I'm either going to make fat bombs or I might, um, in time, make some more ice cream. Robert had one and some blueberry like we did with the raspberry. So I might try that. Um, So, um, yeah, just some, you know, basic stuff. I didn't get too much. And since I, the, the big boxes of the um, salad, they take up a lot of space in, in the shelf in the refrigerator. So I actually had to clean out the refrigerator, which was good. I needed it. So, and then, of course, that requires dishes. So, you know, it's one big, long process. But it was good. Um, I'm feeling... I got a lot, I have a lot to do today. I had a crazy work week, work day yesterday, and system issues and such. So today there is a pile of stuff that needs to be done since I won't be here tomorrow. So that's my plan, I gotta do that. And it's gonna be a busy day, so I'm gonna get to it. 
y'all have a great week and i am sure that we will talk again before the end of the week i certainly hope i will have some sort of an update but this video just broke 10 minutes and so i want to get going so keto on uh, as always i appreciate your support if you are new to my channel please subscribe and hit that bell button so that you can catch up with everything i got going on and hear my rants all the normal stuff all right thanks so much for your support guys have a great day keto on <laughs>